सब्जेक्ट हाइड्रोलॉजी चैप्टर इवेपोरेशन टॉपिक मेजरमेंट ऑफ इवेपो ट्रांसपोरेशन so now students we have already discussed what is evapotranspiration how is it happening what is pt what is pay, uh, uh, aet and what is the aerated index right now in in this lecture we will be discussing about the measurement of evapotranspiration right so a lot of methods are there but the most important method that uh, that is also asked in examination also that is lysimeter so the questions are like this we uh, the instrument or the method used for the calculation of evapotranspiration is lysimeter recently in dmrc also this question was asked that is lysimeter so in lysimeter what is happening is that we have a soil block right plants are grown in the soil block and this soil block is uh, uh, it it assembles or it is just exactly as the environmental conditions are we maintain the moisture content in the uh, in the soil block right uh, there is a proper arrangement of uh, you can say instruments which me which measures the moisture content in that soil block right so it is a very time consuming process it takes a lot of time so that is why it is not generally used right but in examination point of view this is very important we also have some field plot method also uh, in field plot methods we are using the water budget equation what is water budget equation i have already told you right so in the water budget equation if you take your uh, evapotranspiration on the left hand side on the right hand side you will be having precipitation plus irrigation if you are doing irrigation right minus runoff minus the groundwater storage storage yeah we have some empirical formula also we have penman equation also but the important equation is blandly kriedel formula right this is also used in uh, your irrigation also it is 2.54 evapotranspiration is given by 2.54 into k into f k is a constant right f is the evapotranspiration constant right uh, f is given by summation of ph into tf bar divided by 100 now what is ph ph is the monthly percentage of annual day time hours right so first of all you will be given uh, how much because evapotranspiration it depends evapotranspiration it depends upon the day time hours right so first of all you will be given for the annual uh, how much for how much time the day time hours are there and for month, one month you have to calculate the percentage of that right and t is the temperature in degree fahrenheit okay so these are the main methods but the most important thing is the lysimeter that which of the following is used for the calculation of evapotranspiration some options will be given and one option will be lysimeter so lysimeters are used for the calculation of evapotranspiration okay so i hope it was a very short topic so i hope you have understood the measurement of evapotranspiration now let's move to the next topic and solve a few numericals on evaporation and evapotranspiration also right thank you